All right, I'm back. We got a weekend shave, Saturday morning shave. We got our varietal beer company mug with some uh, black coffee in here. This is still that, um, that Father Michael's out of Goldendale, Washington. This is the uh, Goldendale blend, just black coffee, no sugar. Kind of keeping that I broke my fast. Um, I had something to eat, and then I, I kind of figured if I fast throughout the week, and then maybe on the weekends, you know, I'll just do what I want. Maybe also try to like keep it low though. So I don't know. We'll see how it goes. It's kind of a work in progress. It's all like um, impromptu, like on the spot decisions. So anyhow, but black coffee, no sugar. All right. The soap for today, Murphy and McNeil Granuale. And uh, I don't remember the correct pronunciation but this is the one with the um the lady pirate uh very nice label right there nice side label as well i like the golden silver <clears throat> um and this one is in the kodiak base you see that there those are the ingredients on the back that is a very nice soap base let's take a look at this we kind of got like a um a light brown tan type color and it is you know it's a firm soap but not so firm that you can't press into it and this stuff smells great so this is um gunpowder white leather aged oak and salty ocean aquatics and uh, I wore this the other day um, actually the last two days I wore the uh, granuale solid cologne nice little tube that fits right in your pocket just put some like on your forearms and maybe you know around the uh the neck there <clears throat> smells really nice uh simple scent notes but still smells very very nice <clears throat> so we got our lancaster razor work shave bowl we got our brochas el drudia shave brush with that kind of uh texturing on the uh handle there very nice handle and then we got a uh, turn and shave v3 uh untreated badger knot right there so it's uh, not gelled let's go ahead and get a little bit of water on the face and get this shave going hope everybody's doing well um I have probably three days of growth, I believe. I don't think, my last shave was like midweek, so I think I have like three days of growth. We're gonna be using the uh, new improved Schick Injector. So the Type F is what we're gonna be using today. Very handsome. I figured it matched the, uh, the, the silver and gold that was on the label to a T. So this is the one that had all metal construction, uh, very rare Schick injector, but a very nice uh, shaver indeed. So I have um, dinner with the family later. It's kind of like a, a prime rib, prime rib dinner. We're going, we're all going to um, this um, tavern that uh, my my dad um, and stepmom frequent they they go to their they play pool they you know they're big pool players league players um, and they've been going there pretty much you know their whole adult lives and so every year they do multiple like they'll do like crab dinners and they'll do um, prime rib dinners and so. My dad, usually when they do these events, he'll buy a bunch of tickets for everybody and, and you know, try to get as many family members to go to this thing as he can. So we're going to do the little prime rib dinner, probably have a few beers, um, maybe even play a little bit of pool later. So that, that should be fun. That's always a good time. And although it's a tavern, 
This guy can cook back there. That old man, <laughs> that old man in the back, he knows how to cook. So even though, you know, it's a, a dive bar, got some good, good food back there. So should be, should be a good dinner and a fun time with the family. So looking forward to that. Let's go ahead and get this shave on the road. Looks like we got a uh, Schick Proline V20 in there. And I have no idea how many shaves the uh, the blade has on it. These uh these Schick blades last quite a long time for me, so I just roll with it until they start to uh, feel uncomfortable. Then I'll switch it out. Absolutely. Absolutely no problems with uh, this soap base. The Kodiak base is pretty well known for being really high quality. All the slickness in the world. And um, nice density, easy to whip up. So absolutely no problems with Kodiak. It's always a pleasure using uh, Murphy and McNeil. I haven't heard a lot from Murphy and McNeil lately. Um, kind of, kind of wondering what they're gonna do next. You know, what are they gonna come out with next? Murphy and McNeil, they're one of my favorites. You know, they just keep their head down. Seem to be a, like very respectable. They offer that used marketplace that's a great service to the community for you to uh, offload some of the items that you you're not using anymore or you just you know trying to part with so Murphy and McNeil um, good operation over there I, I really like Murphy and McNeil and their range of products too holy shit there's just nothing really Nothing really bad to say about them. They, they got their shit together over there. This injector is just feeling great. I'm just shaving on the uh, residual right now. Going every which way, trying to get the uh, the swirls, the hair, the hair swirls. First pass in the books. That went really well. The scent on this one I feel like is appropriate for like all year round. Like it's one of those ones where I it's kind of like neutral in nature where it's not too warm or dark and it's not too um, bright and and, um, and uh, airy or whatever you might call it so it's just somewhere in the middle where it's like you could wear this on a hot day you could wear this on a cold day uh, all year long really it's it's a very nice approachable scent um the leather i think is the most prominent note but just just behind that is the um aquatics and they make an interesting um, duo, those two scent notes. It works though. And then you get a tinge of the uh, gunpowder. And I think the, the oak is really just adding um, depth to the leather. Really nice concept, really well blended. It comes together very nicely. That looks good. Take another sip here. Kind of got dry mouth. I smoked a cigar last night and had some some rum while I was doing IG lives by the fire. <clears throat> <clears throat> it 
if you uh if you don't follow me on ig i always put um, my ig handle in the description of uh every video so you can check that out if you want i occasionally do live shaves on instagram as well But I also just hang out sometimes. I'll go live and just chop it up and talk about stuff other than shaving. So you can also get a little insight into some of, you know, some of the other things that I might want to talk about. Today, uh, before I go to this dinner, I was thinking of going to like a, uh, this brewery in town that I don't go to that often. Um, they're having a little, like a artisan pop-up type thing. So we'll have a bunch of like, you know, local, local vendors that they'll be hosting and they'll each have little tables, kind of like a, kind of like a farmer's market, but it's like small scale. It's just a... A couple artisans showing their stuff off inside the the brewery's uh, facility there, so that should be fun. I know a couple of the uh, artisans, so I might go and show some support, show some love, pick up some handmade goods, have a beer. I'll do that probably to pre-funk before dinner. It's just a cruise control shave here. Oh yeah, when you get when you get that uh, swirl on the Adam's apple, and you get it just right, and you can just feel like Adam's apple's baby butt smooth. That's just that's just puts a smile on your face right there when your your trouble areas. When you get them baby butt smooth, no irritation, brings a smile to your face. <laughs> I don't know why I'm kind of like, I feel like, not low energy, but like a mellow vibe this morning. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Yeah, turn it up on these guys. <laughs> <clears throat> and holy shit, I blew through that shave. I think maybe because I don't really have ranting points today that I'm just like is lower lower energy because I don't really have nothing to rant about. Um, but shit, everything went well. I got a flawless shave. I mean, no cuts, no nicks, weepers, whatever the hell. None of that. I'm, I'm, this fasting thing is turning out to be a lot easier than I thought it would be and and because it's turning out to be easier than I thought it would be I'm like encouraged to continue doing it like I went three days with no solid food um well like three and a half days because I didn't eat until dinner but I went you know, three days with no solid food. And then the first meal I had, I went to um, one of my favorite Mexican restaurants that I've been going to literally my whole life. Um, I went and had some uh, enchiladas, rice and beans over there. But I had like a smaller plate than I usually eat. And it's funny because I ordered the smaller plate but I was like full instantly. So, you know, I, I would get like three enchiladas or two enchiladas and a taco. But instead I just ordered um, two enchiladas, no third item. And by the first enchilada, I was full. Like, and my, I, my stomach was full. <laughs> and I powered down that second enchilada anyways because I hadn't ate in three and a half days. Well, then my stomach started hurting, so I was like, damn it, I overdid it. So it's interesting, I'm kind of like, 
learning the rules of fasting as I go and, and doing a little bit of research as I go. But it's funny because I'm just not hungry. Like, I broke my fast, you know, uh, last night. And um, I'm just not hungry. Like, this morning, you would think, since I broke my fast, my body would be ready for breakfast. I'm not hungry. So I'm going to skip breakfast. And I'm probably going to skip lunch. And then I'll have my family dinner. Um, and then Sunday, I probably just won't eat, you know, unless some sort of plans come up. I'm giving myself the weekend, the weekend off, but then, you know, I'm going to try to go Monday through Friday with just no solid food, just black coffee and water. And we'll see if I can do a five day stint. Although I'm counting Friday as part of my weekend. So like if plans come up on Friday, I'll break it on Friday. But if I can go Monday through Thursday with no solid food, I think that'll be a pretty good way for my body to uh, to use like the fat stores, um, and then you know I'll break it on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, if uh, need be. But still try to dial it back from my normal uh, eating like a fat ass habits, <laughs> if you know what I mean. So, we got the matching aftershave right here. Uh, absolutely stunning aftershave bottles. The best in the game. Got the faux leather cap with the uh, butt crack on the back. So, shout out to uh, Lord Shady. He doesn't like the uh, when, these, when these bottles <laughs> come in the mail and the butt crack is, is in the front. That's just a bad look. You got to make sure when you're making these caps, Murphy and McNeil, make sure that the... Uh, the ass crack is in the back of the bottle. <laughs> so, but very, very, very nice um, aftershaves right here. Um, again, love the shiny uh, label, all the information, the ingredients. Fully fleshed out, the frosted glass. Absolutely love it. We'll give it a little shake. You got a uh, industry standard quality restrictor right there. No shit stricter, no shit stricters here. Kinda. This one kind of has like a, a, a amber tint to it. Very nice. This is this one is an alcohol aftershave with uh, no menthol, and there was absolutely there was absolutely no burn on that, so that was still very soothing. I'm gonna go for another round. The aquatics come out a little bit more than the leather on the aftershave. So in prominence, they kind of switch places in the aftershave as far as the scent goes. But still very, very nice. Absolutely BBS. That feels great. Hell yeah. The uh, Murphy and McNeil, though, they offer a non-alcohol splash and an alcohol splash. So whatever side of the fence you're on, they got something for both of you. And then they have um, menthol aftershaves and synthetic menthol aftershaves as well. So really a lot of options. It's, uh, it's you know, all about the customer there. So, And while I'm speaking about it, I have a Murphy and McNeil, um, like, what do you call it? Like affiliate link? Yeah, like an affiliate link or, or something like that uh, in the description of every video. So... Even if I'm not using Murphy McNeil products, I'm putting it in the video anyway. So if you want to use it, it benefits me <laughs> and uh, and I appreciate it. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. Hope you have a good rest of your weekend and I will catch you on the next one. Cheers.